How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're going to fix this Braun Series 7 electric shaver. The problem that I'm having with it is that when I'm shaving it has a full battery charge indicated by this LCD right here and then I shave, shaving my face, shaving my face about 15 to 20 seconds later, it just stops like that. In the middle of shave, the battery goes completely empty and the shaver stops biting on any facial hair and mid-stroke it pulls and it hurts. So that's been going on with this razor pretty badly over the last month. The fix is gonna be very easy. All we're going to do is open it up and do battery replacement. But before we get into that, if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you're already subscribed to the channel, subscribe so you don't miss another project and let's get into the fix. So first thing we had to do was go on Amazon, get a battery, and I typed in my model number was Braun Series 7 Shaver and ordered a battery. It was a little bit over $20, but comparatively, these things are over 100, if not multiple hundreds for newer ones. So replacing the battery and getting more life out of it is a no brainer. I will put a link to this battery and other batteries in the description so you can replace your shaver battery as as I am doing right now. It comes in a ton of packaging. We're gonna open, and it looks like it is an authentic Braun part, you can see there, but it is a very specific battery that I could not find anywhere else. Amazon was the cheapest that I could find. This is what the battery looks like. It's a weird Sanyo CHUR18500Y 1300 milliamp hour batteries, lithium ion. They have these two nubs on them. As you'll see, that is where the contacts go on the shaver. Now getting into the battery compartment on the shaver, it's actually really easy. You're gonna grab this rubber right here. Try to get your fingernail, maybe a plastic knife or a metal butter knife. If you can't get it with your fingers, which I can't get right now, I'm going to grab a little plastic prying tool and that'll help me get underneath it. You pick up your pallet knife and then work that into your meat. Give your meat a good old rub. That's it. Nice and hot. Hot and spicy meat. <laughs> yeah, boy. So you're gonna have to pry from this end right here. And then you release the clips right here. And then we're gonna release the clip on this other side and work your way around. And you should be able to take off that rubber cover like that. There's four screws right here. You might be able to hit it with a flat head. However, I have a electronics toolkit. It'll fit a T8 and that's the little star bit. But there are slits in it, so you might be able to get it with a flat head screwdriver. Once those four screws are out, you gotta pull off this back plate, just like that. This one is the watertight plate, so be careful with this rubber seal right here, but that exposes our battery. We're gonna take out our battery. I'm gonna press in on the battery casing while I pry out the battery with my finger, and that's our old dead battery that is multiple years old. We're going to put in our new battery, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you put it in the correct direction. Positive is down, negative is up. So we're just going to slide it in like that and we're going to press it down. It should make contact to the battery terminals. Depending on the state of the charge of your battery, you can look at your battery indicator. Mine is still dead. However, I'm going to reinstall my back cover, make sure that that rubber is seated correctly because you don't want it to lose waterproofing abilities. Reinstall those four screws. Grab that back rubber piece. You're gonna slide in these tabs on the top. You can see there's a tab here, tab there. You're gonna slide those in so that they get underneath the little razor handle, makes it flush. And then you're just going to press in all the little side clips of the razor and it is back together. Now I'm gonna throw it on the charger. Let it charge for a little bit because I think it's dead as a doornail. I'm gonna let this charge and then I'll come back and show you guys that it works. Okay, it's been charging. As you can see, it's not a fully charged battery, but I got a lot more. We're gonna see how long it runs real quick. All right, I'm gonna cut it at a minute and a half. It's still going. Obviously the new battery has done wonders on this machine. Now it's basically at a brand new state of charge so I can use it again. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, throw them in the comment section. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe so you don't miss another project. Grab yourself a battery if you're having the same problem and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.